Hi everyone, in this video clip 8.1, we will actually start it off on the new chapter that is on applications to differentiation. In this first few video clips, including this particular video clip, we'll be going through one type of application to differentiation, namely tangents and normals to a curve. Now, please download your 8.1 handouts first and we'll go through this particular video clips together. Now, in this uh, chapter, under this section, we're actually going through an equation, finding an equation of the tangent to the curve at a particular point. For example, we have this curve here. Suppose this curve is y equals to fx. And this is actually a particular point here on the curve, namely a, fa. Okay. Our aim is basically to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at this particular point. Okay. How do we go about finding the equation of this tangent? We need to first obtain the gradient function of the curve. That means we need to differentiate the curve. So if we find dy dx, we'll get f prime x. And then we put in x equals to a into the gradient function. And we'll obtain dy dx equals f prime of a. So the gradient of the tangent at this particular point is f prime of a. Then knowing the particular point a at a which the tangent passes through, we can then write down the equation of the tangent. Namely, y minus the y value over x minus the x value, that gives you f prime of a. Okay. Now rearranging it, we have y minus f a equals to f prime of a multiplied by x minus a. Okay. And hence, we have y equals f prime of a times x right, minus a f prime of a plus f a. Okay. Now this will of course be the equation of the tangent to the curve at this particular point. Now how do we go about finding the equation of normal to the curve at this point? What does it mean by normal to the curve? That means it's the line that is perpendicular to the tangent okay, and passes through this point A and F A. How do we go about finding this particular point? Okay, this particular point is of course A F A and we need to now find the gradient of this normal. Okay. Now the gradient of the normal okay, at the point a F A okay, would be the negative 1 over the gradient of the tangent. Okay. So knowing the gradient of the normal now, together with the point A F A that the, tang the normal passes through, we can now write down the equation of normal. Which is y minus f of a over x minus a equals to minus 1 over f prime of a. Okay. Rearranging it, we have y minus f of a equals to negative 1 over f prime of a times x minus a. Okay. And hence, we have y equals to f a minus 1 over f prime a times x minus a. Okay. And so, this will be the gradient of the normal, then of course the y-intercept. Okay. So this will be the equation of the normal. Okay. Now, this is under assumption that what we are given in the question is the Cartesian equation of the curve, that means y to fx. Now, what happens we are given is the curve in the form of parametric equation. Okay, let me go through the same process, but this time around, 
in a case when it's a parametric equation that is given to us. Okay. So suppose we are given the equation of a curve. Okay, suppose same thing, but this time around in parametric form. That means x equals to f of t, y equals to g of t. Okay. And we are interested in finding the equation of the tangent at this particular point. Now this particular point suppose corresponds to the parameter t equals to t naught, a particular value of t naught. Now based on this t naught value, you can actually identify the x coordinate and y coordinate of the point. Okay, at this particular point. Okay, so we, as usual, we go and find what is dy dx. First, by finding dx dt. And then go and find what is dy dt. Okay. And then move on to find what is dy dx. It's dy dt divided by dx dt. So it's g prime t over f prime t. Then you sub in t equals to t naught to find the gradient of the tangent at a particular point. So my dy dx will be g prime of t naught over f prime of t naught. Okay. Now once you can get the gradient value of the tangent at a particular point, then you can write down the equation of the tangent. And the equation of tangent will be y minus the y value, which is g of t naught over x minus f of t naught, okay, equals to the gradient. Of the tangent. If you rearrange this equation, you get y minus g of t naught equals to g prime of t naught over f prime of t naught multiplied by x minus f of t naught. Okay, so this will be the equation of the tangent in parametric form. Uh, if parametric form, the equation of the curve is given to us. How about the equation of normal? Now for the equation of normal, we first find the gradient of the normal. Okay. At the point, okay, uh, which is uh, f of t naught and g of t naught. Now that particular gradient will be the negative 1 over the gradient of the tangent. And that gives me negative f prime of t naught over g prime of t naught. No, that is the gradient of the normal. Then you write down the equation of the normal. Okay, which is y minus g of t naught over x minus f of t naught equals this one, the gradient of the normal. Then of course we can rearrange multiply by x minus f of t naught like this. So this will be the equation of the normal. Okay? 
So in this video clip, we have actually gone through one type of application of differentiation that is on tangents and normal by running through a situation where the equation of the curve is given in Cartesian form then followed by the equation of the curve given in parametric form. Then in the subsequent video clips, the next two video clips, we'll be going through some work examples on the tangents and normal. Thank you.